Yo what up guys, I'm Scrunchy from Red Black Productions and today I'm going to teach you guys how to green screen or chroma key. Now I'm going to assume you guys already know what green screen is since you clicked on this video and you want to know how to do it. So I'm not going to bother explaining it to you in depth or tell you to google the crap out of it and write a 5 page essay on this shit. But green screening is basically layering two separate videos to make one video. Alright that's enough talking and let us begin! So first off, let's create a new project and let's call it green screen. Now let's import the files to green screens, bitch! Alright, now we drag the video of the subject with the green screen onto the timeline. Now, as you can see, this is just an awkward video of me dancing to no music. <laughs> yeah, pretty lame. Oh my god. Now, what you're gonna do is click on the effect button and type in here. Now, once you see here, just drag it into your video. Now, already we see that the green has turned to black. Now, I ain't gonna lie, but. Looks pretty bad. Looks pretty bad, yo! <laughs> so we're gonna click on the sample color button on the side and just basically highlight the black to define and feather this out. Now it kinda looks better, but we still have this green edge. So let's zoom in and use the edges. Alright, now that you think it's good enough, we get the video we want to merge it with and just drag it below the green screen video. And we are pretty much done. And now we're done! I just made a quick video of me dancing in space. Oh! Oh! Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> and this works for pretty much anything and everything. I can be dancing in space, the sky, or Kanye! <laughs> <laughs> now I know most of you guys will probably be using this technique on serious videos with hardcore explosions and Freddy W type shit. <laughs> So just be creative with this and have fun using it. So once again, I'm Scrunchy from Red Black Productions, and if you have a Final Cut request, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys next tutorial. Laters.